I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. I'm going to show you a 2018 36 V5 Georgetown Motorhome. It's a GT5 series. Two full bath floor plan and we're going to look at some features of this unit. So we're going to go inside first. I'll come back outside in a second and show you around. Uh, you can see 36 B5 right here or 36 B5 and then Arrowhead Camper Sales as well. So we'll go inside first. And we'll start here at the front. So I'm gonna back up and let you see this. Nice big unobstructed view here at the front. Two chairs here. George has done a great job. This is almost like a, uh, a rhino lining for a bed liner on this instead of a carpet or a vinyl. Very, very thick. Um, you know, nice, durable setup here on this. Um, as far as the seats go, we've got a tray here. It's nice for the passenger seat. Big window there, cup holders, things of that nature. Right here in the center is a table. Backup camera, viewable there. Power driver seat, hydraulic jacks, and there is the control pad for that. At the front, we've got, on both sides, these are manual um, roller shades at the front, power power roller shade at the front uh, to cut that off to block off any sunlight or at night to block off any view at all. We've got an electric bunk here at the front. So this is varied on Georgetown from year to year. Um, it's an option now for an electric bunk that does come down. I think I can, I can run it myself with one hand, actually. Put that down and you can see it. So nice bunk here at the front. Storage up there behind it as well. So again, just additional store of uh, sleeping space and storage there. Great idea by Georgetown and the electric bunk instead of a manual. Put this up. On this slide, um, you can see we have couch and booth together in one. Plenty of windows here. Really cool couch here. It's actually a trifold sofa, but it's also got rec recliners built into it. So kind of something unique uh, as far as RV furniture is concerned, but a really nice couch there. The booth storage below, it makes a bed of course th there. Big window at, at, right there on that. You can see they did a good job matching the countertop on the booth um, to the new stock countertops in the kitchen, which we'll look at in a second. New flooring in this, a really good look floor here. Matches very well with these lighter cabinets and the countertops. So beautiful new colors here by Georgetown. Beautiful new style solid surface countertops. We have an extension on the end here that's solid surface as well. A split sink with a flush mount sink cover. Um, same thing with the, with the stove top. Not used a lot by, honestly, by many customers, so it's nice to have this entire space to be used for serving and prepping food if you're not gonna use a stove top. So good thinking there by Georgetown. Uh, one TV here. Of course, the best part about that is the direct line of sight uh, to the couch behind me, so you can sit, down, sit back and recline at the couch, watch TV straight ahead, no turning your head at a weird angle or anything like that. There is storage on the TV. So again, these motorhomes were trying to maximize space uh, and, and efficiency as far as use is concerned and there is storage behind our TV there. Big stainless steel oven, uh, one of the larger sizes that we still see used in the industry. A back, backsplash behind the oven tile there. Stainless steel microwave. Beautiful cabinet doors in this unit. Big refrigerator, this is a new thing as well. So I got an 18 cubic foot refrigerator here. Quad door. Two refrigerator doors, two freezer doors. Um, awesome new addition there by Georgetown. Stainless steel again to match the other appliances in the unit. Two ACs in this unit. So one AC there, one AC in the bed in the back. Excuse me, the bedroom. Also, this actually has a curved ceiling now. Something Georgetown's introduced as well. And that's the kitchen and living room. So going back into the back, our hallway here. Two bunks to our left. Both with TVs, very thick bunk mats, not anything cheap, um, but nice beds there, windows at each. A 
across from that is our first bath. So this actually has two full bathrooms. First full bath here. Big corner shower with a seat, uh, a single piece fiberglass, not a uh, one of those loose, you know, kind of loose on the wall type cheap ones. Glass shower door, really more of a home style residential shower here. Skylight as well. Storage there behind the mirror and then another mirror in front of the sink. Stainless steel sink and a foot flush toilet in the corner also. Going back to the bedroom. Um, you can close your bedroom off. This is like a double or triple sliding door here. Uh, moves and it slides over here to the wall. You can cut that off if you want. To the left when you walk into the bedroom. A pretty impressive wall of storage. So some of these are drawers, cabinet doors. Some of them angle out. There's hanging storage. A wide variety of storage in this. And a TV as well. So actually four TVs inside, one TV outside. Five TVs. So awesome amount of storage here again hanging and you know there and then some of these are just standard cabinet doors and then some of this kind of pulls out so good job by Georgetown supplying a wide variety of storage again no carpet in here either trying to eliminate that whenever we can big king bed here windows all around storage above his and hers lights also there's a second air conditioner in here so two ACs Tons of floor space with these opposing slides. The three slides in this unit, um, two here in the bedroom, and just a ton of floor space. It does not feel enclosed at all. It's one of the complaints we have about uh, motorhome bedrooms, and not with this one. A ton of space. And then at the back is our final bathroom. So a pocket door there, um, second full bath, shower to the right. Again, the same same general style. Got a seat in it, one piece fiberglass, a big skylight in there. Medicine cabinet with a mirror. Down below, foot flush toilet. Now this one has something unique. Um, a ton of storage, obviously below the sink. And then right here, Georgetown's brought this back in this floor plan. We have washer dryer hookup. So some people put their own shelving in here. Some people put a, a closet rod, hang some clothes on it. Some people put a washer dryer combo. So a lot of different things you can do with this. Great job by Georgetown adding that. And then to the right of that, again, more storage. So great amount of storage in this back uh, master bath. So that's the interior of this unit. Uh, we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you some more things. So on the outside of this, this has a partial paint package that Georgetown does. So part of this is graphic. Part of this is paint. Either way, very, very cool colors uh, between the five... It's dark tint on the windows, frameless windows, and then the partial paint. Uh, just a really aggressive, uh, luxurious look to it. Big electric awning on this side with a metal wrap on it. Like I said, frameless windows, super dark tint. Outside speakers and an outside TV. There's our fifth TV I was talking about. So outside entertainment center here. I'm not going to show you all these compartments. We'll show you some. You can see slam latch compartment doors on these. This one's actually a pass-through, so I want to point that out. A huge compartment here. On the slides, you'll notice slide covers on those. One water heater here. Actually, a second water heater toward the back. On a bigger chassis, so we've got 22 and a half inch wheels. And then here's the other big uh, compartment as well, pass through to that side. So two really good size pass through compartments, slam latch compartment doors. Uh, two water heaters as a second water heater and two furnaces also as well so really cool looking rear cap on these uh the georgetown lettering is actually in like a reflective almost a chrome look to it really pops looks great a backup camera on this ladder on the back also come around this side you can see this uh, compartment right here again you know just just an awesome amount of storage on this side that passes through so good job there by Georgetown adding that. Again, the slides all have slide covers on them. The sun hitting this, you really see just a beautiful, the contrast of the windows, come out with the wheels, everything. Is, it's a really, really sharp, aggressive look to this unit. Generator on this, of course, 5500 Cummins on him. There's the big wheels again. Side view cameras on this also. 
chrome wrapped mirrors. LED accent lights on the front as well. It's a really cool outside on this. So 2018 36B5 Georgetown GT5 Class A motorhome by Forest River. It's a three slide model on a larger 22 and a half inch wheel chassis. Overhead electric bunk, hydraulic leveling jacks, slide covers, solid surface countertops, 18 cubic foot refrigerator, frameless windows, and two full baths. That's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.